everyone, I'm Lynn and I'm so happy you're joining me again today on the Crafty Meraki YouTube channel. I'm making a mini slimline card today, you know I love my mini slimline cards, and I'm using some products from Crafty Meraki, but also this gorgeous little stamp from My Favorite Things. Now all the products I'm using today are available at the Crafty Meraki store, and I will link the main products I used in the description below. I started out by stamping this cute little bear in her adorable little robe onto Claire Fontaine DCP 250 GSM cardstock. This image is from the Spa Day stamp set by My Favorite Things, and I stamped it in Memento Tuxedo Black Ink. Any alcohol, friend, alcohol marker friendly ink will do. Usually I always go for dark brown bears, but today I thought I'd switch it up and go a little lighter in my coloring. I'm going to go over all of this again with a second coat of my markers because the first layer wasn't as smooth as I would like it to be. The blending wasn't as smooth because there was quite a step down between my lightest shade and my mid-tone marker, but it worked out in the end with that second layer. Now, because my bear is quite light, I can make the rope quite dark and that will give a nice contrast. And I also really love these deep blue markers. I'm going to admit this rope was a little bit of a pain to color with all of those dots on there. Those polka dots are really <laughs> um, hard to avoid when you're coloring a dark shade on this rope but I figured in the end I could have just colored over all of them because I am going to keep them white and with a white gel pen I could have done that after all the coloring was done. So I didn't have to be so fussy with all with avoiding all those little polka dots. I could have just colored over them. Now with the bear you could see that there was quite a bit of contrast between the darkest and the lightest shade and the same is true for this robe and I really like that. It's a little bit harder to color. You have to work a little bit more on the blending but it will look a lot more lifelike and a lot more dimensional when you have a high contrast between your darkest shade and your lightest shade. For the little details, I chose to go for some really bluish light purple tones that complemented the rope nicely. Again, I am filling those polka dots back in with my white gel pen. And that bluish purple will also work nicely with the background I'll be making. Now for my background, I first die cut the Bagoni Mini Slimline Die by Crafty Meraki from White Cardstock. And from the center of that, I also die cut this Hugs from the Hugs Slimline Tag die set. So I'll have a nice large sentiment cut out from my background and it will have the same pattern on it as my background. So it will blend in nicely. I added some color to that with the Soft Lilac Ink by Pinkfresh Studio and then I can glue on that Begoni Mini Slimline die cut, <laughs> the die cut, <laughs> to um, my top folding white note card. Now I will change my mind about this later and I will cut this card apart um, to change some things up. But for now, I am just inlaying that hugs die. I first thought I was going to add a bunch of dimension to this. I changed my mind about that too. <laughs> I changed my mind a lot while making this card, but it worked out fine in the end. Now I'm trying to figure out where I want that bear to be. And I thought he was just floating there in the middle and I didn't like it. So I figured maybe a frame will be a nice add-on. And I really like these timeless frames dies by Crafty Meraki. Again, these are mini slimline dies, but I didn't like it just laying on top of my background like that. So instead, I am going to die cut this from my mini slimline card that I already made. So I cut the mini slimline card apart, just saved that front panel there, and I die cut that with the Timeless Frames mini slimline die by Crafty Meraki. And I will have a frame that follows that nice background pattern from the Pagoni mini slimline die, and it will tie in nicely with my background. Now I folded another mini slimline card base, but this one is smaller. This one will fit behind the frame in such a way that it won't show uh, through those scalloped edges. 
I'm just checking if it fits nicely the way I want it on there. And then I am first going to glue on that um, ins inside panel, the hugs panel. I am gluing that on with the Barely Art Precision Craft glue. And I am just going to center that onto this white note card. Now I'm going to warn you again, I will again do something and then change my mind later. Uh, I am going to glue this frame in place and then tear it off again because I wanted to add some more color to that. So I just wanted to keep that in to show you that I don't um, have a card planned out entirely before I start and usually it works out without many hiccups. But today I changed my mind a lot and I wanted to share that with you guys too. Um, I glued that in place. I thought it was too white, so I pressed it nicely to make sure it was nicely adhered and then changed my mind and tore it off again. I really like that bear smack up in the middle though. That's something I've made up my mind on, so <laughs> at least we got somewhere. But I am going to do some ink blending on this frame now. And I'm going to work from the inside out for this frame. So I want my darkest ink blending to be on the inside of the frame. And I just want that to be set apart from the background panel. Now there is some glue on the back of this frame. So it was a little bit hard to wriggle it around while I was ink blending, but it worked out in the end. Now I'm once again gluing this on, making sure that the frame follows the pattern nicely. Then I can prop up that bear right in the middle with some foam tape. And then as a finishing touch, I am using some of the Meraki Sparkle Gems. And these are gems that I haven't used before actually. This is a color I don't reach for often, but I really like these gems anyway. Uh, these are the Periwinkle Meraki Sparkle Gems. And I'm gluing those in place with the Nouveau Deluxe Adhesive because that's quite a bit stronger than the Barely Art Precision Craft Glue. I folded a purple mini slimline envelope with my We Are Memory Keepers 123 punch board. And for the inside flap of the envelope, I am trimming that down a little bit so it fits nicely and you can easily reach the card inside. I'm putting that in my Misty and I'm stamping that same little bear from the My Favorite Things stamp set on there in a Regal Kiss Ink by Pinkfresh Studio. So that's a nice tone on tone effect for that bear on the envelope. And I really like the purple background for this card. I don't often reach for purples. I did last week because it was Bindu's birthday and she loves purple. But um, something about this bear, every time I color her, I uh, reach for some purple, usually for her robe. So I'm glad I finally changed it up um, and I didn't color it purple again. But I did add some purple to the background. I don't know what's up with this bear, but she makes me want to use purple. <laughs> I really like how this card turned out. It's such a fun image and I really love all that detail in the background without adding any dimension. And I hope you like this card too and I hope you like the video. I know I changed my mind a lot, but I thought it would be nice to take you along and show you my process a little bit. Now, if you like this video, make sure to leave a thumbs up on this video and leave your thoughts in the comments below. I would love to read them. You can also subscribe to the Crafty Meraki YouTube channel and make sure you also follow Crafty Meraki on Instagram because today, for example, like every Saturday, I will be going live on the Crafty Meraki Instagram feed. So I will hope to see you there. I will make another card there, live chat with you guys. And it is a lot of fun usually, so I hope you tune in today. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.